One of Portugal's two autonomous regions is the Azores, along with Madeira. It is a group of nine volcanic islands in the Macaronesia region of the North Atlantic Ocean, 1,400 kilometers, 870 miles, west of Lisbon, 1,500 kilometers, 110 miles, northwest of Morocco, and 1,930 kilometers, 109 miles, southeast of Newfoundland, Canada. Agriculture, dairy farming, livestock, fishing, and tourism, which has grown to be a significant service industry in the area, are its main industries. Many people in the service and tertiary sectors are employed by the government of the Azores, either directly or indirectly. Ponta Delgada is the biggest city on the Azores. Due to the occasional settlement of these distant islands over a two-century period, the Azorean islands' culture, accent, food, and traditions vary greatly. There are three primary groups of nine large Azorean islands plus one islet cluster. To the west are Flores and Corvo, in the middle are Graciosa, Tucera, So Jorge, Pico, and Fayal, and to the east are So Miguel, Santa Maria, and the islet of Formigas. They stretch over 600 kilometers, 370 miles, and are located in the northwest to southeast. Although some of the islands, like Santa Maria, have had no recorded activity since the islands were colonized several centuries ago, all of the islands have volcanic origins. Portugal's highest point, Mount Pico, on the island of Pico, is 2,351 meters high. The Azores are among the world's tallest mountains when viewed from their base at the ocean's bottom to their peaks, which rise dramatically over the Atlantic. The Azores' climate is unusually mild for a place so far north, thanks to the passing Gulf Stream and its separation from the continents. The sea impact keeps temperatures pleasant all year long. Depending on the season, daytime highs often range between 16 and 25 degrees Celsius, 61 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. In the major population centers, it is unknown to experience temperatures above or below 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. It is typically cloudy and rainy as well. On the islands of Corvo, Santa Maria, and Tucera, a small number of alleged hypogea, underground structures carved into rocks, have been discovered. Portuguese archaeologist Nuno Ribeiro hypothesized that they might date back 2,000 years, indicating a human presence on the island before the Portuguese. The notion made by Ribeiro that these constructions might be burial grounds is unproven. Instead, inhabitants in the Azores have utilized them to store grain. It is uncertain whether these structures are natural or man-made, and whether they predate the Portuguese colonization of the Azores in the 15th century due to the lack of a thorough inspection and dating to confirm the veracity of these hypotheses. Europeans were aware of the islands in the 14th century. The 1375 Catalan Atlas contains partial descriptions of some of them. The Azores may have been rediscovered in 1427 by a captain serving Prince Henry the Navigator, presumably Goncalo Velho, however this is not confirmed. Joshua van der Berg of Bruges, a Fleming, made landing in the archipelago while traveling to Lisbon, according to Thomas Ashe's 1813 book A History of the Azores. According to Ashe, the Portuguese discovered the region and seized ownership of it. Although there are few documentation to back up the allegations, some sources mention that sailors working for Henry the Navigator discovered the first islands, São Miguel, Santa Maria, and Tucera. The Azores archipelago is situated in the center of the Atlantic Ocean's northern hemisphere and stretches along an orientation of west-northwest to east-southeast, between 36.5 degrees and 40 degrees north latitudes and 24.5 degrees to 31.5 degrees west longitudes, in a region that is roughly 600 kilometers wide. The islands of the Azores were formed from a region known as the Azores Plateau, a 5.8 million square kilometers area with a depth of 2,000 meters. The nine islands that make up the archipelago cover a total surface area of 2,346 square kilometers, which includes both the main islands and numerous islets that are close by. 
the largest, so Miguel, has a surface area of 759 square kilometers, and the smallest, Corvo, has a surface area of about 17 square kilometers. The islands are distinctive due to their individual geomorphological features. The Azores are situated above an active triple junction between three of the world's major tectonic plates, the North American Plate, the Eurasian Plate, and the African Plate, which has led to the existence of numerous faults and fractures in this area of the Atlantic from a geostructural perspective. The archipelago's westernmost islands, Corvo and Flores, are situated on the North American plate, whereas the rest islands are situated on the line separating the Eurasian and African tectonic plates. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge, Tercera Rift, Azores Fracture Zone, and Gloria Fault are the main tectonic features in the area of the Azores. The Azores Plateau is divided into two main regions by the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which runs between the islands of Flores and Fayal from north to south and then to the southwest. This extensive form is traversed by numerous transformed faults that run perpendicular to its north-south orientation, is seismically active, and is prone to volcanism. Many of the active volcanic and seismic events on the island are the result of the crust spreading along the faults and fractures that already exist. These events are encouraged by buoyant upwelling in the deeper mantle, which some people identify with an Azores hotspot. Along the Tercera Rift, in particular, has seen the majority of the volcanic activity. There have been 28 recorded volcanic eruptions since the island's first settlers arrived there in the 15th century, 15 terrestrial and 13 submarine. The most recent volcanic activity took place in the seamounts and submerged volcanoes off the coast of Cerita and in the Pico So Jorge Channel, which are located off the coast of the island of Fayal, where the last notable volcanic eruption, the Capilinjos Volcano, took place in 1957. In addition to the inactive cones in the center of Sol Miguel Island, the aforementioned Capilinjos on Fayal, the volcanic complexes of Tercera, or the Plinian caldera of Corvo Island, the islands have many examples of volcano-built geomorphology, such as the Gruta das Torres, Algar do Carvo, the coastal lava fields, like the coast of Fetiras, Fayal. The Mysterio of Prania, the first embryonic surfaces, began to show in the waters of Santa Maria during the Miocene epoch and the islands of the archipelago were formed by volcanic and seismic activity during the Neogene period. The archipelago is located in the Palearctic region and has a distinctive biotic ecosystem, including the Macaronesian subtropical Laura Silva, which is home to numerous endemic species of both plants and animals. At least 6,112 terrestrial species have been identified, of which 411 are endemic. Most of these endemics, 75%, are animals, primarily mollusks and arthropods. In the Azores, new species are consistently discovered. Despite the Azores' appearance as a lush, occasionally wild place, the vegetation has undergone significant changes. In the previous 600 years, a sizable portion of it has been eliminated for its precious timber, used for tools, structures, boats, firewood, and other items, and to clear area for agriculture. As a result, it is predicted that more than half of the island of Graciosa's insect species have vanished or would soon go extinct. Although the archipelago's location in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean gives it a generally tepid, oceanic, mild to warm subtropical climate with mild yearly oscillations, it is nearly the same latitude as the southern half of mainland Portugal. The Azores archipelago is situated in a zone of transition and confrontation between tropical air masses and cooler polar air masses. Variations in the atmospheric pressure field across the North Atlantic play a significant role in determining the archipelago's climate. A semi-permanent subtropical Atlantic anticyclone, more generally referred to as the Azores High, overlaps these changes, which are influenced by the bulk of the American continent and the Atlantic water mass. Seasonal fluctuations in this anticyclone can have a variety of effects on the archipelago. When the Azores anticyclone is farther south in the winter, the polar front might descend and approach the islands. 
The polar front and its associated disturbances vanish from the region throughout the summer, however, as the anticyclone moves further north. The continental air masses that reach the archipelago are attenuated by the marine impact since they are sufficiently far from the coasts of the continent. Thanks for watching and if you enjoy the video please like, share and subscribe.